How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video and in this video we have a fair bit of news to go over. Now to my knowledge nobody has actually covered some of the stuff that we're going to get to in this video so we'll get to that as we go. I'll also be rounding up the news in general from the past few days as well and we're also going to get into some discussion about the current state of Battlefront 2 toward the end of the video. So make sure that you stick around after we discuss the news as we do have a lot to get through today. Now before we dive into all of that, I just want to let you guys know a few things regarding this channel and my second channel. For those of you who don't know, I run a second channel which is a passion project of mine. Now on that channel, I'm going to be doing a full review of the Clone Wars TV show once that wraps up as it is just blowing my mind as to how good that it is. So that will be going up on my second channel and also I have a big video discussing the Star Wars prequels dropping in a couple days time on that channel as well. Now I did a video on the sequel trilogy and it got a really great response so I'll be doing the same for the prequels. And as for this channel, obviously things are slow for Battlefront 2 right now but they're going to be ramping up next week so in those lull periods in future like the past few weeks I will be putting an emphasis on my second channel. And like I said, there will be some Star Wars stuff going on over there. This is mainly just so when there's not much going on for Battlefront 2, I can put my creative juices into gear over on that channel instead of just pumping out pointless filler videos here and wasting your guys' time. So if you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated if you could head over to my second channel and subscribe. You'll be able to see a little banner drop down in the top right corner. Now, sorry about that super long intro for the video. Uploads have been a little bit more scarce lately than usual, so I kind of had to dump all the information at once just to keep you guys in the loop. But anyway, onto the video itself now. So first off, we'll get into the basic news roundup from the past few days. Then we'll get into some news regarding the CT next week. Now, first off, for those of you who don't know, it looks like we will be getting a new skin for Darth Maul in the next update next week. The hero designer for Battlefront 2 has been having a bit of fun recently and has been putting out some teasers. He posted this picture and Battlefront 2's players have managed to decode it very quickly and even find the photo that it looks like it was taken from. Now this photo leads to Darth Maul from Star Wars Rebels when he goes to confront Obi-Wan, so it looks like we will be getting this skin next week. Now this obviously is not 100% officially confirmed by anyone at DICE. But the hero designer did say, you know, like well played and stuff like that. So it's unofficial confirmation at best. But it does look very likely that we will be getting the robot legs Darth Maul appearance that so many of us have been wanting since the launch of Battlefront 2. And given how amazing the Clone Wars is right now, mainly due to Maul, this has me really hyped as skins don't normally get me too excited. But, you know, like I said, given all the stuff with Maul and the Clone Wars TV show right now, I'm, I'm hyped. But... Again, this isn't officially confirmed, so just keep that in mind. Now moving on, more recently we also got another villain skin tease. Now this time it really did not take long at all for Battlefront 2 players to figure out what the skin was. So it looks like we will be getting a Rise of Skywalker skin for Palpatine in the update next week, which really does please me personally. Any love for my boy Sheev is always appreciated. So if this does come to fruition, he will have the black robe with the red scattered throughout, which should look really, really clean in the Frostbite engine. Now, I really hope that they go overboard with his Sith eyes like they did in the movie. I think it looks pretty badass, and seeing those bright yellow eyes in-game would be great to see. But again, just like the Maul skin, this is not officially confirmed, but you know, given how accurate the photo is to the tease, it's literally the exact photo. I would be extremely surprised if this did not end up happening. Actually, to be honest, I would be dead confused. I would not understand it at all. Now, those of course aren't the only skins that we will be getting. My guess is there will be at least two skins for the heroes. They could literally belong to anyone though. Two might be wishful thinking on my part, but we will at least get one which is for certain. But regardless, it is great to see some love for the villains in Battlefront 2 in terms of skins. As we all know, villain skins are that overdue in this game, it's not funny. So these will be a fine addition to the collection if things play out like these teasers are hinting. But now moving on, and this is the most recent news that we're going to get to in this video. So a few hours ago at the time of recording, former community manager Ben Walk 
has been tweeting out in regards to the Scarif update and the community transmission and all that good stuff. Now we of course didn't get any confirmations, but we did get at least some communication regarding the Scarif update and whether or not it's going to get delayed again. And I am pleased to report that the news looks good as of right now, which actually does surprise me to be honest. Now Ben was getting grilled by a few people on Twitter regarding the community transmission next week, which always drops shortly before an update. So Ahsoka Wen was saying you should drop a CT to remind us what they look like, to which Ben replied saying after the weekend. So that was good to see, but someone else went on to say, is this confirmed? No delays. To which Ben went ahead and said, unless something happens over the weekend, then yes. So this is obviously as good as news could be for us right now, given the odds of us getting a straight yes or no from DICE or EA is just impossible. So things at this point are looking good for the next update. Now, my guess was this community transmission would arrive on Monday. And I was on Battlefront 2 subreddit and Ben actually replied to someone asking whether or not the community transmission would in fact be coming on Monday. To which Ben replied with a full stop. Now obviously it's just a damn full stop, I get it. But given that he has actually responded at all, I think that at least says something. I feel like Ben and the other developers actually want to say things, but they just can't. So they're trying to just do what they can to keep the community from going mad and, you know, finding loopholes to say something. So this obviously, again, isn't straight confirmation that the CT will be coming on Monday. But, you know, given the fact that the community transmission normally comes at least at the minimum a couple days before the update, and this update was supposed to be released in late April, I dare say Monday is pretty likely for us to see the new community transmission. Obviously, provided things don't go pear-shaped over the weekend, like Ben said. So the arrival of the Scarif update for now is looking good and everything looks like it's going as planned. If anything does change, I'll of course have a video up discussing it. But in the meantime, those of you who have Twitter, the best thing to do is to keep an eye out on EA Star Wars' page as they will be posting the news for the next update. So from now on, it's just a waiting game to see what they post. But now moving on, something else that I wanted to discuss in this video that I haven't seen anyone really talk about at all, but there was a tweet floating around from Kevin Johnson who goes by ToadLFPS on Twitter. He goes on to say, I may be a stopgap while a replacement is found, and then he goes on to say a few more things, but the most important thing here is that he says until a replacement is found, which means they are looking for a replacement community manager, which is obviously really good news for Battlefront 2. I don't know why I have not seen this tweet before considering I do keep a close eye on these kinds of things, but you know, this has really changed my perspective on where Battlefront 2 could be going. If they're on the hunt for a new community manager, it's likely so Battlefront 2's communication doesn't fall down the toilet, which it kind of already has. But if they were going to cancel the game soon, I don't think they'd really be on the hunt for a new community manager, so I just thought I'd bring that up here. Now lastly for news, there is currently a Heroes Unleashed event going on right now in Battlefront 2, so anyone who wants some carnage over the weekend, be sure to jump on Battlefront 2 for some all-out hero carnage. Now finally, the last thing that I want to discuss here is sort of off the back of my last video, which was a very negative one to say the very least, and I got extremely heated in that video with EA, DICE, Battlefront 2 in general, and I've had time to sort of marinate on that and put my anger aside and see what a lot of you guys are feeling in regards to Battlefront 2. Now I must say, the state of the game isn't exactly great right now, like the servers seem pretty bad and despite having ridiculously good internet, I've been encountering a lot of lag. I think that Battlefront 2 right now honestly is playing like a big bag of just doo-doo. And I think the Scarif update is going to have to fix a lot of minor issues that create big problems with the gameplay. And like I said in my last video, things with Battlefront 2 are frustrating me a little bit. Obviously, there are bigger issues going on in the world right now, I understand. But hopefully the rut that Battlefront 2 has been in over the past pretty much two months will all come to an end with the release of the update and things can get back on track for the game. I really do think that Battlefront 2 needs this Scarif update to just be another big time banger of an update. The potential is there and I have no doubt that DICE will have a few surprises in store for us in this update. Especially considering that Scarif has been delayed twice now and I'd say there's a fair bit coming in this update if that's the case, like even with virus effects in the equation. 
But let me know what you will think in regards to that. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say about everything we discussed in this video. And let me know how excited you are about the Scarif update in the comments below. But guys, that's just about all that I wanted to cover in this news roundup video. Hopefully, come a few days time, things start looking a lot better for Battlefront 2 and the rut of the past couple months comes to an end. But guys, if you did go on to enjoy this video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on if you haven't already. And remember to check out my second channel and keep an eye out over there for some Star Wars videos coming very soon. But until next time, thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all again real soon.